German National Railway was indispensable for the transportation of vehicles, troops and supplies. The logistics of the National Railway were crucial to conduct any kind of military operations. During World War II, 80 ton railroad flat cars were used in Europe and Russia to carry military items closer to the front. In the case of tanks, this method got them closer to the battlefield faster than if they had been driven there under their own power. It also left the tank crews fresher for battle. Trank trains could carry up to 25 medium tanks or up to 8 heavy tanks. The average number of cars per tank train was about 30 with widely varying net loads. So the most efficient way to move tanks long distances was by train, but the Tiger tank with its operational tracks was too wide and this posed problems for its transportation. It might not fit under bridges and could hit trackside objects or passing trains. The solution was to provide a second set of tracks for the Tiger tank. Standard Marschketten or operational tracks were 70 cm wide. For trail transport these tracks were removed as were the outmost road wheels on each side. The tank's side skirts also had to be removed and part of the front and rear track guards was folded in on a hinge. Verladeketten or transport tracks only 50 cm wide were then fitted. This reduced the tank's width just narrow enough to fit the railway flat cars that the tanks were moved on. The tank's operational tracks, wheels and side skirts were transported on the same flat car with the vehicle itself. At the destination, the whole process was reversed. The transport tracks were packed back onto wagons after use and remained with them. The tank crews didn't have to drive around with a second set of tracks. If they had left the narrower tracks on the tank, this would have raised the Tiger's ground pressure to an unacceptable level it would have been far more likely to sink in to soft ground and its mobility on the battlefield would be greatly reduced. As much of an inconvenience as the track replacement must have been, it was better than dealing with a bog town under constant enemy fire. The King Tiger tank used the same system, except its tracks were even wider than the Tiger tank tracks. They were 80 cm wide. Now, when a German heavy tank battalion requested flat cars for a railway move, they had to specify whether they needed Tiger 1 or Tiger 2 tracks. For clarity, Tiger 1 transport tracks were painted green and Tiger 2 tracks were painted red. The railway transportation of the super heavy mouse tank would have been even more problematic. In order to transport the mouse, a special 14 axle railroad car was produced in Vienna, parallel with the development of the tank. Because of the tank's size and weight, very special transportation routes had had to be found, avoiding all tunnels and bridges. After the war, the same flat car was used to transport the 188-ton tank from Germany to the Soviet Union for testing purposes.